guys, welcome to History Central. I'm Melanie Leon, and today I'll be your host. And we'll be talking about the Stonewall Riots and how they affect us up until today. The gay community were often subject to violence, harassment, and discrimination, which is what led to the Stonewall Riots. They decided enough was enough and something had to be done about their situation. There isn't much gay history in American history prior to World War One, and in the 1950s and 60s, being homosexual was actually illegal in 49 states. Although fines varied greatly by states, people could be arrested for wearing non-gender appropriate clothing, meaning women wearing men's clothing, men wearing women's clothing. Sylvia Ray Rivera, born on July 2nd, 1951, was, Ameri was an American gay liberation and transgender activist significant in the LGBT history of New York City, of the United States. As a whole, Rivera, who identified as a drag queen, was a founding member of both the Gay Liberation and Gay Activist Alliance with her close friend, Marsha P. Johnson. Rivera co-founded the Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, STAR, a group dedicated to helping homeless young drag queens and the trans women of color. Storm the Lavery was a butch lesbian who scuffled with police. According to Storm herself and many eyewitness was the defining moment that incited the Stonewall riots. She it was said that she was the one that triggered this whole event to happen by yelling out, Why don't you guys do something as she was being brought into the police car? Marsha P. Johnson was an American gay liberation activist and self-identified drag queen. Known as an outspoken advocate for gay rights, Johnson was one of the most prominent figures in the Stonewall Uprising of 1969. She was also a founding member of the Gay Liberation Front. Johnson co-founded the Gay and Transvestite Advocacy Organization, STAR, Street Transvestite Action Revolutionaries, a long, close friend, Sylvia Rivera, a popular figure in New York City's gay and art scene. Johnson modeled for Andy Warhol and performed on stage with the drag performance troupe Hot Peaches, known for decades as a welcoming presence in the street of Greenwich Village. Johnson was known for the mayor of Christopher Street. From 1987 through 1992, Johnson was an AIDS activist with ACT UP. And when many people asked her what the P and her name stood for, she would say, P stands for pay it no mind. Since people faced many violence, discrimination, and hate on the outside, these gay bars were the havens for these people. They could do whatever they wanted. No one really bothered them except for police on their monthly rates. Stonewall Inn was owned by the Mafia, specifically the Genovese family, and sometimes they would actually blackmail their clients into, into telling them that, oh, if you don't do this, we're going to tell everyone you're gay, and they'd also overcharge for drinks. The bar actually had many violations. They had overflowing toilets, they didn't have a proper sink to wash their cups, they would wash their cups in a tub. In the back they had no fire exits, and every single week they paid the police so they wouldn't interfere with their business and this would allow them to stay open. The police raided the Stonewall Inn on June 28, 1969. This was a complete sporadic event and most of the times this event of them raiding went perfectly normal and organized. Whoever had ID, ID could go and whoever didn't would be arrested and taken away. But this night, there was something different about it. People, maybe they had bottled up anger, just in general, always being persecuted by police, discriminated by people, looked at as different, just mistreatment. They actually stood up for themselves and fought against the police. People started throwing from pennies to rocks to bottles, anything they could find on hand. And as Stormy Delavery 
was being taken away, she yelled, why don't you guys do something, which to add more fuel to the fire, this set it all off. Everyone started getting rattled up. Policemen were so scared that they locked themselves inside the inn. And once they did, it was said that um, a paying monitor that you put the coins in on the street was taken off the street and used to break into the inn. And the protesters actually set almost tried to set this place on fire. This protest went on for days and it ended on July 1st, 1969. This event is still relevant in 2019 because more and more celebrities are coming out as gay, bisexual, lesbian, and transitioning. Transitioning, for example, jazz from I Am Jazz. Most of the times back then, people wouldn't see this. It wouldn't be broadcasted on live TV. And a lot, pe a lot more people of higher class, of the upper ups, are showing their support to the gay community. And this is how, towards the end, the gay community has found their triumph. Although the gay community still faces discrimination from a whole bunch of people, there has been some improvements. They have their own symbol being the gay pride flag, which consists of the rainbow and these bright colors show their pride for being gay. They also have certain foundations and organizations that they can talk to to help them face certain problems they're going through. And although they still go through certain amount of tragedies like hate crimes, they still came out triumphant through the end because they have certain laws passed to protect them. They have more rights than they did before. They can marry whoever they choose. And sometimes if they'll allow them to, they can adopt children. After the Stonewall riot, the first organizations with gay and their names started popping up. For example, the Gay Activist Association and the Gay Liberation Front. And this was a big step because previous to this moment, other organizations opened up that had gay people and everything, but they were actually ratted out and shut down immediately and maybe even imprisoned. And this is a very important step because these organizations will help people and from here on, more and more people we will become informed about being gay and everything. And a year later, in 1970, the first gay pride parade was held in New York City. Um, you would have thought this event wouldn't have been popular with the people, but people started showing up by thousands. And sooner or later, around the country, more and more gay pride parades started popping up. After this, um, in Obama's presidency, the Stonewall Inn was actually recognized as a national monument. And as of now, gay marriage is legal in about 36 states. Yeah.